Dr. Mark Hyman actually blew my mind here. Do you think if you were to go out to the current food environment, mm -hmm. maintain all the fast food, all the ultra processed foods, mm -hmm. but you could click your finger and all the seed oils in all those foods was changed to butter or tallow, but they were still hyper palatable, high sodium, high sugar foods. Disaster. Would it make a difference to, to health? A tangible it difference? It would probably potentially would make it worse. And, and here's why. Now, I can't say that I follow him super closely, but I was shocked. I've seen older content of his where he just says that they're terrible and where he recommended avoiding all of them. But it looks like he's changed his tune and no longer thinks they're the devil and actually thinks that they could be healthier options than saturated fat-rich foods like butter. And in this recent podcast episode where he interviewed my friend Simon Hill, Simon went through a lot of the data on seed oils and health outcomes, and Mark Hyman just tended to agree with him, although perhaps with a few caveats. And I should note that after reviewing some of his content over the last several months, it does look like he's been slowly shifting his view on this topic. So again, that's good to see. But to be clear, this isn't to say that I now endorse most of his messaging. I am still quite critical, but it is nice to see that even some of the most staunch seed oil haters are shifting their perspective. Perhaps because the best available science clearly points towards them being a healthy option and they're becoming more aware of that science and we keep adding more to the pile. And regarding ultra-processed foods, which Simon mentioned in that scenario at the beginning of this video, the primary issues with many of them are that they are hyper-palatable and high in calories. The seed oils aren't the specific issue there. If you were to replace seed oils with butter or tallow, you'd still end up with about the same amount of calories, and they would be worse for your cardiovascular risk. And when you combine those fats with salt, sugar, and refined grains, it's very easy to just eat more and more and more. 